um, to navigating Canvas with Mrs. Cap, Mrs. Cappell. Um, I'm going to walk you through some important tools and techniques for our course in the virtual world, and hopefully this will help answer some questions. Um, I would definitely advise watching this video before you know you get stressed out and nervous and can't figure out where something is. Um, this is a good place to start. And then if you still have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, but I'm gonna walk you through what I've learned have been some of the most common questions in virtual learning, um, e-learning in this platform uh, with both parents and students, just so that you can learn um, you know, what you need to know and how you need to navigate it. Just like if we were in the regular classroom, there would be procedures that we would go through um, for you to learn, you know, like where things go and all that kind of stuff within the classroom. We're going to be doing that in the virtual classroom. So we're going to get started on that and I'm just going to walk you through. I'm going to be doing it in um, Canvas as I'll share my screen, but it'll be as um, like a test student. So some of the things don't work the same um, as they would for like your view, but so it'll, you'll still be able to see like how to navigate and everything. Um, so let's get started with this. So I'm going to share my screen. So this is what you should be seeing. Um, when you go to Canvas, you are going to see um, like a tab that kind of looks like this. If you set up a picture, you'll see your picture here. Um, so like if you were to click on your account, sorry, if you were to click on your account, it would, you know, show your information here. Obviously, because I'm doing this as a test student and I'm trying, I'm doing this from like student view in my teacher account, it looks a little different, but this would be more personalized to your settings and um, your account and everything. So that's where you would go to like edit your, um, your uh, account or if you're looking for a pairing code so that you can pair like a parent and student um, you know account or like an observer um, that's where you would go to get that pairing code would be there um, dashboard you would go here and for you know regular um, account, you would see all of your classes pop up here. So all of your classes should be in your dashboard. And then you can click from there or you can go to courses and you'll see it'll have like a drop down of all of your classes. But because I'm the teacher for art and I'm doing this as a test student um, or in student view, the only one I can see is the class that I selected to view in student view. So you can click there but we're gonna go look at some other things real quick um, you can also look at your calendar and this is a fun feature because it tells you if you had all of your classes in here which you would um, it will tell you all of your due dates that are coming up which is important to know so you can go to calendar you can look at the, um, the month you can do week you can do agenda view. So agenda view would look like this and it would just kind of list everything in order of when it's due. Um, if you did month, it looks like this. If you did week, so you like want to narrow it down and see what you need to do this week. Um, it'll show you, you know, the week. Um, and then you can of course do today. So it would show you just what you need to look at for today. Um, so I would suggest using agenda or month um that way you can like really look at you know some things and then if you find you want to get like more into detail you can do the week view but if you'll notice because our due dates are going to be on for this course our due dates are going to be on sunday nights you can see that your assignments for this week don't pop up in the week view but if you do month view you see oh okay that's going to be due on sunday night and of course, all of our assignments for next week and so forth haven't opened up yet. So you're not going to see those just yet until um, Monday or until next week. Um, so anyway, so you can go there or you can look at the agenda view, whichever way works best for you. That's fine. 
If you want to send a message, you can actually go to inbox and normally, um, if I was in like my regular account, I would see over here a list of messages that were sent to me. And then up here, there would be a thing that kind of looks like that pencil with, um, you know, like a piece of paper. It's kind of what it looks like. That's your compose button. And so you could click on that and you could compose a message to a teacher. Um, so if you were wanting to send me a message, you could click compose and then you could type my name in um, and send it to me. So it would, it should pull me up um, or you can click, there's a drop down also of different contacts. So then you can send a message that way. So um, if you just wanted to do everything, instead of having to go outside of Canvas, it will send me a message within Canvas. And then usually, almost always, I've only had a few times it hasn't done this, but usually it also sends me an email from that and tells me, you know, hey, you got a message on Canvas. Um, and then it tells me the message and then I can go into Canvas and respond or respond from my email. So those are just some, you know, good little like tips that you'll have over here. So now back to navigating the course, we're gonna go back to courses and you'll select your art class. So you might be, it might, it might be art grade six or it might be art grade seven or art grade eight, just depends on what grade you're in. Um, so the grade will be different based on what class you're in. Um, but the first page you see when you sign on to my class is going to be this welcome page right here. So this has the Bitmoji classroom. Um, there's all kinds of resources in here that you can access um, and different objects will link to different things. So there's all kinds of fun like little surprises that are art related or related to our course or whatever that you can click on and it'll take you to um, various things. So for example, um, right here you see this iHome. If you click on it, it's gonna take you to Ms. Capple's, um, Mrs. Capple's Spotify. And on here, I have curated some different playlists for you guys. I'll be adding some more as well. Um, but these are either, um, you know, like instrumental, Disney, chill hop, um, Zen type music, uh, native, you know, type music, um, just some different things that you may want to listen to when you're doing artwork. Um, like for me, I have different styles of music that may not be what I listen to when I'm riding down the road or when I'm just like, you know, hanging out or whatever, but I have certain styles that, um, really work well for me with doing artwork and stuff. So, Excuse me. So I've just tried to make sure I include um, just some different styles that I think bode really well for, um, you know, when you're working on art or doing sketchbooks or, you know, studying. Maybe you need some background noise. Um, I know when I'm working, I have background, you know, um, music usually. And it's usually not something that has lyrics because has lyrics I'm gonna to want to sing along with it or something um, so I try to like have something that's kind of you know not gonna put me to sleep but it's going to kind of give me that background noise to help me focus and so forth so that's just one of the places that you can go to from the bitmoji classroom um, there's also our reading library so you click on that and it'll take you to an interactive reading library here and each of these books you can actually click on so we're gonna go back to canvas because I have it on another page as well so down here cool stuff to use you can click here as well and it'll take you to the artist library embedded within canvas so all of these books you can click on them and they will take you to a um, video where it's read where someone reads the book aloud 
So they actually like flip through the pages and they read it. So if there's like an artist that we talk about in class and you want to know a little bit more about them, kind of in a brief little um, summary, you can go here and find a book that relates to that artist. Um, there's several slides, so don't just like think that it's just this first one. There are several slides to go through and each one contains um, different books. So there's all kinds of, you know, options there. And if you ever get lost in Canvas and you don't know how to get back to where, you know, everything was to start with, always click home. So click home. And from there you can get pretty much anywhere you need to. So some of these things, um, at the time of making this video, they are not like active right now, um, but they will be. So that's something that will be done um, in the days ahead after I, after filming this video. But you know, at the time of making this video, not all things are active, but I um, can guarantee you probably when you're viewing this, it probably will be. So I have on here like um, where you can go to today's assignments. or to um, daily, you know, the announcements and stuff. So you can go there and then it'll take you to our announcements. Um, there's just some different fun little things around the room. If you click on the laptop, it'll take you to the YouTube channel for our class. If you click on this capital, it'll take you there to some different things. So there's just some fun things around the room to click on and uh, you never know, you know, what cool art related stuff it's going to lead you to. Um, if you go down and scroll down, there are some different tabs and links. Here's some contact information. You can click on um, meet the teacher and there will be a video right here that's embedded right here. Um, and then there's also a little like blurb about me and then some more contact information. If you are watching this and you are not in eighth grade art, make sure you check the Meet the Teacher page in your class because the Remind app information will be different. So it's different for every class. Um, but this, you know, that's where you can get uh, signed up for the Remind app and get, you know, notified um, through that. So let's go back to home. All right. Um, as we are going through some different things, when you're going to do your work, you can click on these different little um, icons and they'll take you to your work for the um, whatever that month is and then that week. So if we click on August, it's going to take us here and then we can click on a week and in that week it'll have some information and whatever assignments we're working on. So um, let's go back to home. Now, if you have worked ahead or you accidentally click the wrong month and you haven't finished all of your assignments or haven't successfully completed the previous module, because I work through modules, um, it will not unlock for you. So, for example, this is um, not going to unlock until September 6th at 12 a.m. Okay. So it'll unlock at that point, but there are prerequisites. So, um, for example, as we're working through modules and stuff, if you haven't completed something successfully and you haven't done everything within the previous module, it will not let you move to the next module until you complete the previous one. So make sure you're, um, you know, finishing all of your work. If you get this warning, you've either worked way far ahead 
um, for something that hasn't unlocked yet, or you haven't completed everything in the previous module. If that's the case, go back and see what you're missing, finish it, and then it should open up for you. If it doesn't and you have a problem, reach out to me and let me know, okay? So. All right, you can go to um, different things here. We went to meet the teacher, getting started, which is where this video is gonna be um, located. Live teaching times, when you click on that, it'll show you when I'm doing live sessions. They're not required, they're just there to help supplement um, if you need like extra support or you know anything like that. And then I also will have office hours that'll be available as well. Grades, if you click on that, it will take you to your grades. So this will be a little bit more full looking um, when assignments start opening up and you would have like your assignments and it will actually show you like if you're missing something. So right now, you know, for this, because I haven't done it, this test student hasn't done it, it says score and it has like a blank and then out of zero, okay? So some assignments might be out of 10, okay? If you have a blank, that means you haven't done it yet. Um, it has like a special symbol that'll go there if you've completed it, but it hasn't been graded yet. And so that just lets you know you've done it, but the teacher hasn't graded it yet. Um, and anyway, so then everything's listed by category. And we have three categories in this course, and you can see the weight that those count as. So you have um, tests and projects, because most of our courses are projects, or most of our um, coursework is projects, project-based. Art is very project-based. So that's 50% of your grade. Classwork, sketchbook, and journal is 40%, so there's a lot of assignments that'll fit in that. And then quizzes and participation counts as 10% of your grade. So that's just, you know, making sure you're actively involved in the work that's out there um, and any assignments that may be out there and so forth. So those are your three categories um, and what your grade comes from. So that if you ever are wondering what you're missing, this is a good place to go. Um, parents wanting to keep up with what's going on, this is a great place to go. You can also print your grades. So if you want to um, have like a paper copy of what's going on, you can print them. You can change how it's arranged. You can do it by due date. You can do it by module. You can do it by assignment group. So if we click apply, and that's how it's listed by assignment group. And if we do by module, Okay, so then it'll show you by module, learning mastery. Um, so those are just some different things you can look at. Due date, and then it would put it in order of due date. So um, let's go back to home. So down at the bottom, other cool stuff we'll use. I'm probably gonna be adding a couple more um, things down here, but these are just, we looked at Artist Library. We also clicked on Spotify. Um, we, there's also a podcast that we'll be using um, to do some of our art history um, assignments that is like a podcast that goes through art history. Um, if you need to video chat, this would be the link to where we're doing our live videos and stuff. If you are lost and you're like, I need some one-on-one -on -one help, I need to talk with Ms. Kappel, I don't know what's going on, I'm confused, click this right here. It's going to take you to a form that you will fill out and it is to schedule a meeting with Mrs. Kappel. So if you need extra support, please fill out the form and we can schedule a meeting. Um, so you would put, you know, what, whatever today's date is, you can click on the calendar there and it'll pop up, automatically selects, you know, today's date 
And then you could do what day works best for you to me. Um, that doesn't always mean that it's, you know, a day that works for Miss Capel, but Miss Capel will try to make it work. Um, so what day works best for you? If you are open and you're like, well, I'm fine on any day, then put that here. Just put any day, okay? Or put open or, you know, something like that. And then I have what time of day works best for you. So I kind of know where to try and um, piece it in. If you are just completely open or none of these times work for you, you need an evening time or a weekend, I'll try to do that and try to accommodate that. I can't always, you know, because um, we do have, you know, personal lives and stuff. And so outside of those hours, I may not have that freedom, but I'll try to work with you and work with your schedule um, and then what do you want to discuss during this meeting just like give me a little heads up about what you're struggling with that way I can be prepared to maybe help answer that question or do some research if maybe it's something I'm not familiar with that's not like a common error issue or something um, that way I know what you know to be prepared for to help you best and to make the most of our time so just leave me like a little note there and then you would click submit when you're ready and submit it there. And then for discussions, any discussions we have, you can click on um, let's discuss and it would take you to the discussion forum because I haven't opened any of the discussion assignments yet. That link is closed right now, but it should be open by the time you're viewing this video. So um, you can click on that and it'll take you to discussion. And then of course, this will take you to Spotify. And then I'm gonna add some other things down here that are gonna be some fun, useful um, resources. So if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I am going to upload this video for you guys to be you know, viewing it, obviously you're viewing it now, but um, hopefully this helps answer some of those common questions and concerns that you might have in your Canvas course and, you know, how to access work or how to, you know, navigate it and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully this can help, you know, clear that up. Um, and again, you know, just have fun. Don't be stressed, you know, we're in this together and we're going to get through it and we're going to have fun and we're not going to be stressed. All right. So I hope this um, helps you with, you know, navigating Canvas and understanding some of that stuff. And if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me and um, have a wonderful day.